So, what's up again, everybody? It's Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And again, if you're new, my channel is dedicated to taking different topics that are going on in the YouTube community or in pop culture or society or whatever it is, and try to see what we can learn from them, all right? So, yeah, like, I'm supposed to be finishing my book right now, but ever since I posted my last Etika video, like, just something has been eating at me, like, when I made that video, when I made that video, and like, here's the thing, like, I understand people. And when I made that video, I knew, I knew it was gonna come. And a lot of you are new here and like, welcome. Thank you for subscribing because I'm, you know, all about mental health awareness and trying to convey a message of hope and everything like that. But I knew there was going to be some backlash. And it's absolutely ridiculous, okay? So here's, here's why. And like the first, the first comment that I saw were on Twitter, right? And somebody tweeted, a, a fan of the Rewired Soul. So if you're watching this, like no offense towards you. It's just, I knew this was gonna happen. I'm just using this as an example because other people think of it. And the reason I'm addressing this too is because a lot of creators are going to be making videos about this, all right? And it's important that we talk about this and we raise awareness. But somebody, you know, they tweeted at me and they said, it's too soon to be talking about this. It's too soon to be talking about the loss of Etika. And I'm like, are you serious right now? Like, are you kidding me? All right, like that, that kind of ridiculousness reminds me of when we have yet another mass shooting in the United States and people are like, yo, 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 yo. It is way too soon to be talking about gun control. Like what? We need to talk about this stuff now while it's fresh on everybody's mind so we can hopefully do something about it. So hopefully people will reach out to a friend and talk to them about it. So hopefully if other people are watching this happen and they're in a dark place, they know that there's help available, all right? like. This stuff cannot wait. We need to talk about it all the time. Not just now, we need to talk about it all the time. So it's absolutely ridiculous when people are saying it's too soon to be talking about this. We need to be talking about this more, all right? And clearly, clearly, every single time we lose a life, we need to talk about it more. I was actually on Twitter earlier and I saw, um, I think I'm Alex made, uh, a little Twitter video about it. And he mentioned in there, you know, like nobody's talking about this stuff, right? And it's true, like this is something that, one of the reasons why my channel exists, right? Like nobody talks about these things until something happens. When something happens, then everybody wants to talk about it. When something happens, like today was like Anthony Bourdain day and you know, raising awareness and everything. Like people only wanna talk about this stuff when things happen. We need to talk about this all the time. We need to be there for one another all the time. We need to let people know that there are resources available. We need to let people know that there is hope, all right? But to anybody out there, like I, I empathize greatly like i had another twitter comment again from a loyal subscriber so i love you but this is just not the only one so i'm using this as an example that was saying like oh that that you you shouldn't be monetizing this and i'm like did you even watch the video like it's not monetized like the video is not monetized all right but there were some other comments and most of the comments were good most of the people thanked me but the goal of that video was to answer some questions because I still see it on Twitter, people being angry, upset, like, and that's, that's normal. Like whenever there's a loss of life, like we get upset. We want somebody to blame. We want to blame somebody for this, right? And we want to blame, you know, the people who were like egging him on on Twitter or in his live streams. We want to blame, you know, people who were interviewing him or we want to blame the people who were like making fun of him on Twitter. We want to blame the people who thought, you know, that this was a joke when he first released that video. We want to blame people, but like I wanted to make that video to explain like how serious this thing is and we can try to point fingers all we want but at the end of the day here's here's the real issue here is the real problem all right although we have more people talking about mental health and mental illness more than ever before a lot of people don't like talking about it most people who are struggling with a mental illness severe depression anxiety whatever it is they are not 
getting help. You know why? In fear that people are gonna judge them. In fear that people are gonna think they're weak, right? And I'm here to let you know right now, if you're struggling, you are not weak. Okay, there is nothing to be embarrassed about. All right, if you got diagnosed with some kind of physical disease, you would get help. So why not if you have a mental illness? But again, like one of the other reasons I wanna make this video is like if you're somebody reading the ridiculous comments that people are leaving, because I guarantee they're not just leaving them on my videos, they're gonna be leaving them on other people's videos. Like just, just don't let this prevent you from spreading awareness and talking about this. Like I'm good. I'm gonna keep doing my thing, baby, because I have lost over 70 people, all right, in the last few years, working at a drug and alcohol treatment center. Many people died after they left treatment from overdoses or suicides. I've also had people in my life who weren't just clients who have passed away, and I'm going to keep talking about this. This is something that we do not talk about enough, all right? But again, like, do me a favor and reach out to somebody, like be there for other people. And the other thing is too, like I, I guess I wanna talk about this real quick because I left it out of my last video, is don't, don't blame yourself, all right? Like I could have never worked in the drug and alcohol treatment center as long as I did if I took personal responsibility for every person that we lost. And I, I was so passionate about my job. I'm so passionate about what I do here. And the only thing that we can do is do the best thing that we can do, which is help people as best as possible. Every time we lose somebody, it motivates me more to help everybody else out there, right? But we have to realize like, we cannot save everybody. The most we can do is be proactive and talk to people and be there for people and try to understand people, try to direct them towards getting help. Like you guys, like something that you can do, if you have a friend who's struggling, like you can't get better for them, but if you can help by finding them resources, do it, okay? Like the United States mental health system is absolutely screwed up, all right? It is fucked up, okay? But. There are resources out there, okay? Like, man, I, I, don't, I don't know really what to say because here's, here's the thing. Here's, here's what bothers me as somebody who tries to advocate for mental health and increase awareness about mental health. What's gonna happen in the next week, in the next month, right? This story is going to you know, go away and people are gonna stop caring about mental health again until the next one, and then until the next one, and until the next one. This is something that we need to care about every single day. You know what I mean? We need to be there for one another. We need to recognize that mental health is something that we need to take very seriously. And I, I cannot express enough that we need to be proactive about our mental health. We need to treat our mental health when it's at like a two, so we're not getting to the place where it's at a 10, okay? Something I try to teach people all the time is, you don't practice a fire drill when a fire is happening, all right? You practice a fire drill, so when the fire happens, you know what to do. There are things that I do on a daily basis for my mental health, because when I get in that dark space, I need to have tools at my disposal that will help me. And this includes my support group, First and foremost, my therapist, I have 12 step meetings, I have meditation, I have workbooks, I have journals. I have so many things and we all need that. So to anybody out there saying it's too soon to talk about this, it's never too soon and it's something that we need to be talking about all the damn time, all right? And again, down in the description below, there will be resources if you're struggling please get help, please talk to somebody, okay? I, as well as many others, are living proof that even if life doesn't seem like it's worth living, things can get better, okay? One of the biggest things that I realized through my mental health struggles is that I struggle with patience. I want things to be better now, okay? And as a recovering drug addict and alcoholic, it took me years to get to a better place, but I look back at those dark times and I can't even believe that I was almost gonna miss out on how amazing my life is today. So please never lose hope, all right? But anyways, thanks for watching, you guys. Be kind to each other. Talk about mental health. Don't be embarrassed, don't be ashamed. Help one another out, all right? Thanks again. I'll see you next time.